All right, guys, moving on to an another Patreon request, and this one comes from Bill McLaughlin, who asked me to do a Totally Spies versus Golgo 13 crossover. Yep. <laughs> anyway, as always, if you guys would like to have a Patreon request done, just hit the link below, and uh, just hit, uh, just head on over to there, hit the third tier, and that'll allow you to send me requests or videos to do here on YouTube. But other than that, um, yeah, let's get started with the video. So... Yeah, like I said, it's Totally Spies versus Golgo 13. Um, <laughs> this will be fun. Anyway, so the story begins with uh, the spies just having a day at the mall. Just, uh, you know, Alex, Sam, and Clover having a day at the mall. It's just a nice break. And then, you know, whoop shenanigans happen. And they get sucked down, uh, downwards uh, into the uh, bowels of the earth or wherever nebulous the ba whoop base is and jerry basically says good evening agents and he's not like they could already tell like something's already wrong like something has uh, something is already like definitely wrong of what's going on and like his tone it's usually like kind of like yeah I'm, uh, you know i'm gonna be a little catty i'm gonna have a little fun here um but no it's like he's definitely serious and he's like um listen you guys are I, it, and she's and uh, Sam is like the first one to go um what's the you know what's the problem Jerry what's the mission and he goes there's no mission like I it, like I need you guys to go underground for a bit like I need if someone has been <clears throat> targeting agents whoop agents from across the world like it's it, it, like we it's been a running trend and we're just now catching on and they're and the and the spies are like, uh, what, what, what do you mean, Jerry? Like that doesn't make any sense. Basically, um, whoop agents who have been in deep cover across the planet have been being have been started to be picked off, and they're just now noticing because like the how they're being killed isn't like one after the other after the other. It's more like <clears throat> one dies and then a few months later there's nothing, and then another dies. Um, essentially, like someone. Uh, has been picking them off one by one. And he's just like, there's now a total of, of, of like, in the span of eight months, uh, we've lost 17 agents um, in total. And we don't know, like, we don't know what it is, who it is. All we know is that um, the person who has been, hot, you know, we do know it's a professional. We do know that this guy uses the same kind of gun but we can't track him. He's like a ghost. And they're like, well, we can go, we, you know, we can track him down. And Jerry goes, look, agents, I appreciate that. And like, girls, I, I really do appreciate that. But I can't have you, like, whoever is doing this is a perfect, <clears throat> like I said, is a professional. And isn't it like, this is a guy who knows our names and he probably knows who you are. Whoever, it, like, and, you know, they're, the agents, the girls are like, well, is this like a, like a revenge thing or is it something and he's like we don't know we um we can't pull up any facial recognition for him we can't pull up anything for him all we know is that this dude's a ghost we can't find him and i can't risk you know you girls getting killed on because he might know you guys on the list too you're our top agents so there's a good chance he might know who you are so i'm just asking you to stay low so the girls go back and they're still kind of like well that was shitty like you know jerry should trust us more but sam is like you know jerry has his reasons and if this guy has taken out like nearly 20 agents in just a matter of months and made it look some of those look like accidents then we we should probably just lay low and let jerry and then you know if jerry needs us he'll call us so they go back to their uh, college dorm and right away like sam is like there's something wrong here and she like stops alex from opening the door because she notices, like, there was something, like, the door's just slightly ajar. And she, like, uh, so Sam stops it, and there's, like, there's a fucking expl- There was a fucking claymore attached to this. And not only that, like, the claymore, she inspects it after defusing it, was a dud. And that means they wanted me to get it, like, why was it a dud unless you wanted to get me in the- Oh, shit! So Sam immediately, like, pulls the other girls down. This is a bullet comes flying through the window. And they're like, yeah, the, it was meant to get a clear, sh like, the, whoever did this meant to use that uh, fake claymore as, like, a way to get a good shot on us. And they're like, it's, it, it's like, um, girls, it, like, uh, Clover, do you see anything? He's like, yeah, it's probably, it's, it's it looks like a single shooter. 
and they go um, they go chasing after him. The guy's gone, and they're trying to inspect like the scene, and they find nothing. So they report to Jerry, and he's like, "Oh God, he knows who you are, and we've kind of picked up something on this guy too." He, we don't know his name. We don't have a name on him, but he is goes by the identity of Golgo Thirteen, perfect one of the be one of the best hitman in the world, if not the be the greatest hitman in the world. And they're like, hitman, you know, that means he did it for money. And they're like, yeah, we think there's a leak, there's an information leak in in Whoop, and someone is hire, you know, we think someone is hiring Golgo to pick off these agents for us. So we're trying to figure out who the leak, where the leak is, and stop it before more agents are killed. But it looks like, but he's not done with you yet. So the girls have to like prepare themselves because they know Gol Golgo is going to come back, and sure enough, he does. And he's trying to take shots at him uh, from like at least a little while, uh, uh, at least a good distance. So the uh, girls have to get in close again, and this time. They uh, manage to see Golgo like jump onto a motorcycle, drive off, and they're like, "Oh no, bitch! You're not getting away this time." Um, girls activate their jetpacks, chase after him, and it becomes like a, a chase through the city as he's like Golgo's trying to fire at them back and forth, and th and they're like in their head, like in their heads, the gr uh, like Sam and the others are like, "Holy shit! This guy's shooting us with fucking guns!" We've like they've encountered near death experiences before, but it it suddenly feels all more real. When you when you see someone with a gun shooting at you, they do use their gadget, one of their gadgets, to uh, stop Golgo's motorcycle. He does like whip out his gun, fires a few more times. They have to get in close, and it's they they're thinking it's three on one. He can't take us. Sure enough, Golgo does take us, uh, take uh, take all three of them, um, and is about to kill them when all of a sudden Jerry shows up, and Jerry reveals that there was a mole, a disgruntled mole in Whoop. And he's cap they've captured him, and they're like, you you know, there's one or two ways this could go, Golgo. We could arrest you for all those murders, or you can leave. And they're and they're like, yeah, arrest him. Why why is this even a debate? Why would you let him even like have the chance to go? And they're like, there's been other prisons that have tried to hold Golgo, and I can't afford to have any more agents killed if he tries to break out again. So I'm giving him the option to just walk away because now he doesn't have a reason. Because now his his money has been his source of income has been his contracts over, so Golgo's just like okay and just packs up his shit and leave, and you know Cl uh, Clover's just kind of raw about it because she's like damn it we sh you know he killed all those agents he nearly killed us why are we letting him go and he's like you wanna Jerry's like you want to stop him go ahead, and, but Clover's like fuck that asshole, so by the end of it Golgo disappears into the war into the wilderness again. And these spies continue on with their lives. So there you go, guys. That is pretty much uh, Totally Spies vs. Golgo 13. I want to thank Bill McLaughlin for this Patreon request, as well as continue patronage. And you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of this? Just comment below, let me know. Other than that, um, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.